Some of Devon's secrets are right under our noses, but nobody seems to spot them. We're anchored off Slapton. Round the headland there is Dartmouth. Round Start Point is Sulcombe. Probably thousands of pleasure boats there. And this is one of the busiest Saturdays of July. Perfect weather. And yet there is no other boat on this bay. We've got miles and miles of sand and it's all to ourselves. Beach stretching as far as you can see and not a single other boat taking advantage of it. Not a badly kept secret. It's worth going ashore here for a look around. The Start Bay Inn is renowned for its excellent fish. Booking essential. The beauty of the beach belies a tragedy there during the Second World War. A tragedy that could have been avoided. Landing craft crammed with American soldiers were rehearsing their D-Day landings on Utah Beach when a hunting pack of German e-boats got among them, like foxes in a hen house. A mix-up of communications between the American and British forces meant the landing craft had no warning of the German attack and by the end of the night, almost 1,000 American soldiers had died on British soil. More than were killed in the actual landing on Utah Beach. Just a little further west along Start Bay, and tucked inside the headland, is another anchorage with a poignant history. Well sheltered from westerly winds and swells, this cove once housed a thriving fishing community. Consisting of 37 houses and a pub, Hall Sands was typical of many villages along the coast. It's 140 residents scraping a living from fishing. Until, on a stormy January night a century ago, the whole village collapsed into the sea. Substantial dredging for shingle, to be used in the expansion of Plymouth's naval dockyards, caused erosion of the beach. And without this protection, the village was destroyed in a single southeasterly storm in 1917. Only the ruins of a couple of buildings clinging to the cliffs now remain. The cliffs running west from Sulcombe's Bolt Head are among South Devon's most spectacular. It's a dramatic coast of rocky pinnacles and green rolling meadows, with barely a sign of human habitation. A seascape to rival anything I've seen on my travels. Beautiful on a day like today, but in unfriendly weather, many a vessel has been wrecked along this coast. And at the easterly end, Tucked in behind Bolt Tail Headland lies Hope Cove. And what a difference a day makes. Yesterday we'd not been able to anchor comfortably. Today we could relax and enjoy the cove. If you leave the busy Sulcombe Estuary and head just a few miles to the west along some stunning Devon coastline, you come to Hope Cove and it's as different to Sulcombe as it possibly could be. Just a small little cove, occasional boats come here to anchor for a couple of hours. You've got a beach, a slipway, a pub, and some gorgeous bathing water. And it's a particularly good place to come if there's a bit of an easterly blowing, because it's well protected from that. Oh. That's good. We'd seen some of Devon's special coastal secrets on this weekend visit, but I was sure that there was still more to discover. <laughs> 